Welcome to this Tutor to You Sociology topic video looking at changing patterns of family life, focusing on ethnic diversity. One of the main forms of monitoring the different types of households in society is the census, a large scale social survey that is conducted every 10 years to all households in the UK. It measures a range of different social and economic characteristics and is where we draw much of our understanding of the different types of family structures from. In 2011, the census recorded the household structures of all UK households and these were broken down by ethnicity. While a census has more categories for types of households than is shown here, this data gives us a snapshot of the structure of different households in the UK by ethnic background. For Asian families, we can see that the majority of households are couples with or without dependent children. The next most popular form of household is other and this merges house shares, multi-generational families and other forms that do not fit neatly into categories. We can see that there is a greater percentage of Asian families in this other category than any other ethnic grouping. For black families, black Caribbean and black African, family structure is split somewhat more equally with three main categories of household, lone person, couple and lone parent. With white families, the majority either live alone or as part of a couple, with just over one in 10 being a single parent home. Whilst for mixed ethnicity groups, there is more of a variance. Other ethnic groups, such as Chinese or Arab, appear to be either lone person or couples. But these statistics only give us an overview and the use of qualitative data is important to triangulate these findings, rather than jump into conclusions about relationships within different ethnic groups. For example, how might a living apart together couple define themselves for the purposes of the census? While they are in a relationship, they also live alone, so we need to investigate these trends further. Examining the family diversity of ethnic groups, Berthold found significant changes in family life across a range of ethnic groups. South Asian families were more likely to retain traditional values on marriage and gender roles, but it was noted that there were differences between generations, with younger generations being more accepting of divorce, mixed ethnicity partnerships, and greater equality in conjugal roles. In black Caribbean families, Berthold described a greater individualism and less value placed upon marriage in conventional family life. Berthold also found a trend towards serial monogamy and cohabitation rather than the values of traditional marriage in black Caribbean families. Examining British Asian families, Barty supports Bertol's view on changing attitudes in younger generations of the family, particularly towards arranged marriage and mixed relationships. The traditional roles of the older generations were reinforced through lower female employment, even when they no longer had dependent children. Culturally, in South Asian families, motherhood is seen as being more important than employment, with the role of the mother given higher status in Asian communities than white ones. Whilst fathers took on a more traditional breadwinner or provider role, this demonstrated a similar division to what Parsons suggested in the 1950s about American families. Further research into British Asian families was conducted by Koreshi et al. Echoing the finding of the 2011 census, they suggested that there were higher rates of traditional families within the British Asian community, although there were changes. A greater acceptance of divorce and an increase in lone parenting across the three main British Asian groups, Indian, Pakistani and Bangladeshi, demonstrated the changing attitudes to family life. Whilst the older generations still looked to family honour, amongst younger generations there was more evidence of conflict between partners being out in the open, particularly for those who married partners from overseas, with many citing delays to immigration as a reason for conflict in the marriage. Within black Caribbean families, there were differences in family life and families could generally be organized into three different types. Traditional families, common law families or cohabiting families and matrifocal families, which is evidenced by the census statistics. Berthold suggested that marriage was seen less as a social institution and more as a lifestyle option for some black Caribbean families, what they described as a form of modern individualism. Black Caribbeans in the UK were more likely to have mixed ethnicity partnerships than any other ethnic group, and less likely to commit to living together, which can be demonstrated by the higher number of lone parent and lone person households. Prof.
Professor Tracy Reynolds suggested that there was a greater fluidity in the Black Caribbean family and that conventional structures in the UK may not be best suited to describe some Black Caribbean families. She also suggested that there were variations in preferred family forms based upon which Caribbean island families had originally migrated from, which are making families less likely to marry and more likely to have female headed families, while families from Antigua and Barbados were more conventional in nature. Referencing Jamaican families, it was also noted that this did not exclude the role of males, as often visiting relationships were formed, in a similar way to living apart together relationships, where males would often be part of family life and interact with the family, but maintain their own homes as well. This was often seen as a stepping stone to a more conventional family life. That concludes this Tutor to You Sociology topic video on changing patterns of family life focusing on ethnic diversity in families. Thanks for watching.